Hi, my friends. Today, COVID cases has been rapidly growing up in our country and to other countries as well. I do not have any cure or recipe toward COVID-19. My objective here is to share with you some remedies that can boost up your immune system. So what's about the COVID-19? When there's a COVID-19 symptom, yeah, people, most of them are suffering from this few elements. Bird clot, mucus formation, allergic reaction, bleeding, hyperinflammation, hypoclea. Hypoclea means that your lack of oxygen and people get suffocated and people die. So these are the few symptoms that a COVID-19 patient will go through. Towards mankind history, there are three methods that mankind, people, find remedies. People look for remedies from herbs, plants, number one. Number two, we look for remedies from the earth, the materials. And number three, from the lab, the chemicals component where we call it medicine today. And I'm here to share with you what is the option of remedies we have to enhance immune system booster. My name is Ray, I'm the head of R&D, Coffee Land. So I would like to share with you what are the remedies that we can easily get by using plants and herbs that can allow our body to boost up our immune systems. Okay, number one, most important minerals, minerals we're talking about is zinc. Zinc is a very powerful mineral inside our body. They enhance, enhance our immune system. They stop virus from replicating to the part of our body. And zinc is a OTC. So you can easily get zinc pills at any pharmacy without any doctor's prescription. So you just have zinc of 15 milligrams per day and this will help your immune system to boost up. Yeah, you can get it OTC, over the counter. Yeah. And what are the herbs, what are the plants that is rich in zinc? My friends, ginger. Now, can you still remember when you're young, when you have flu, when you're sick, yeah, the, grandpa, the grandparents or the mother will give you ginger, they plunge and then they boil, they ask you to drink and then you feel better because ginger is rich in zinc. Yeah. And number two, vitamin C. Have a lot of vitamin C. Yeah, maybe, and vitamin C again is OTC. You can get vitamin C over the counter. So we're talking about 1,000 to 2,000 mg of vitamin C. If those who can the virus, four hours every day, take 1,000 to 2,000 mg of vitamin C. That will help you to boost up your immune system again. Now, my friend number three, we're talking about anti-inflammatory agents. Herb that is rich in anti-inflammatory agent is turmeric, cucumin. And these are the, the plants that is rich in our country, Malaysia. Yeah, turmeric, you can get anywhere, cucumin. Yeah, you punch, you boil, and then you drink. That is rich in anti-inflammatory agents. Yeah, and this is very benefit for the body. And another things that have anti-inflammatory agents, example like omega, tree oil, fish oil, flaxseed oil, or you can Google, you can Google it, anti-inflammatory agents. What are the things that rich in anti-inflammatory agents? And then you have the blood thinner, anticoagulant. So what you mean by blood thinner is that we allow your blood vessels to be thin so that it will not block in any parts of your body that nutrition and things is blocked from going to your organ and that is vital. So, we are talking about blood thinner, things like garlic, cinnamon, pepper, spices, all these are very rich yeah, in this area. So my friend, today we have zinc, we have vitamin C, we have anti-inflammatory agent rich, that means you go for turmeric, cucumin, and then you have a lot of garlic, spice, to make your blood thin. So with this few ingredients that you have, you can buy this easily. Yeah, in pharmacies, over the counters, you can get the zinc pill, you can get vitamin C pill, even though you can get cucumin or turmeric pills, grab this kind of stuff. Yeah, if you are worried that you have your COVID-19 or some of your friends has COVID-19, my friends, I encourage you to have this. Boost up your immune system, protect yourself. Yeah, and at the same time, stay a distance of one meter away, wear your mask, sanitize your hand, don't go to crowd places. Yeah, I believe these informations could help you a lot. People are suffering because lack of knowledge. My friend, 
If this you found this valuable, share to your friends. Thank you.